John Bremer, and you're watching Feed My People Joy. And today I want to go over a scripture that God gave me the other day that I think is, I just like lit up like a light bulb when he told me about it and it just like popped out at me. It's one of my confession scriptures. And I found out that when I confess scriptures on a regular basis, the same scriptures over and over, um, I just speak them out loud and mutter and meditate and think on them, God gives me revelation knowledge upon them. And this was Acts 14.30. And it says, Speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave witness unto the testimony, gave, which, gave witness, which gave testimony unto the word of His grace and granting signs and wonders to be done by their hand. Um, that's the scripture and that's Acts 4.30. And what happened when I <clears throat> was thinking about the scripture and just like speaking it out loud is the word speaking boldly jumped out at me. And it was like that was an answer to my ministry. Um, when I go and I minister, is the key is speaking boldly. It popped out at me. And this is what happens when you speak boldly. It says, speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony. Okay, so when I say, when I lay hands on you, you're going to be healed, that's speaking boldly boldly in which the Lord gives testimony and another scripture Revelations 19 10 says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy and the word of God says that we'll lay hands on the healed Mark 16 will lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed so it's too hot in here um so um I'm just saying what God said he says when you lay hands on they'll be healed. So if I speak boldly and I say, when I lay hands on you, you're going to be healed. All the pain's going to leave. That's speaking boldly and that will give me the testimony and him the testimony that he's healed. Um, which, uh, it says, uh, which gave testimony onto the word of his grace. Well, the word of his grace is by the stripes of Jesus he has been healed. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to be good enough. You don't have to do right things to, to be healed. You just have to receive it. And that's the word of his grace. And, and, and that was just like uh, so exciting to me. And said, granting signs and wonders to be done by their hand, by their hand. Okay, as Jesus is, so are we. And the disciples demonstrated that by laying hands on people and seeing them healed. So I hope that scripture opened your eyes and, and just did a lot for you and got you excited like it did me. And my name is Rob Bremer. And uh, you're watching Walks with God, and I'd like for you to check out my website for more teaching material on everything you can imagine, especially things that the Christians should be walking in now, healing the sick, casting out demons, raising the dead, walking in God's supernatural presence and power. So check it out, and uh, that's Robin Bremer, B-R-E-M-E-R dot net. And you have a blessed day. I'll talk to you later.